Hi guys, and believe it or not, this is a nail video I'm doing. I haven't had nails on for about four weeks and I have really missed them. But anyway, I wanted to stick some nails on today because I really like this cartoon nail thing that's going around. And that is something, because it's, I like the matte ones, not the shiny ones. And I love my matte nails, as you all know. So I'm gonna do them with some full nails instead of tips. So. These are all model ones. I don't know which one I'm using yet yet, so I will use my yes and no man. Strawberry ice cream. No. Nope. Dancing with me. No. Nope. Macaroon blue. No. Nope. Or exotic birds. No. Nope. Lava black and cream. No. Nope. So the nails I'm using are MacArts Pump Up Nails, and to put them on, I am using Extends Neutralizer. That goes on the natural nail first and on the etching of the nail and then I put the Extends B which is their thick one on the nail to attach it. I think, personal opinion, I think the nails stay on longer with these but that's just my personal opinion. Right so I'm going to prep my nails because I haven't done them for so long. So next, because the nails haven't got any etching underneath the, the nail bed, I've got to just do that. So I'm just getting my e-file and just making that etching underneath so that it's got something to grip onto when I apply it to my nail. All right, so I'm not gonna talk through the process of how I apply these. I've done a few videos already about how to use the Extends products. So I will link them videos in the description box and at the end of this video. But it's basically applying the Extends N, which is a neutralizer on my, I said I'm not gonna explain what am I doing, on my natural nails and on the etching of the other nails. When that's dry, I just apply the Extends B onto the nail bed area of the full nails and then I press them down and I've got a Extends light, it's a UV light and I've got that attached to my um, light which you can't obviously can't see and then I just cure them for 10 seconds and then after they're all done on that hand I will cure them in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Yeah I don't, I don't know why I bothered saying the first part because I've just explained to you exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to nip the end off each nail just so I can get the number off, plus I want them a little bit shorter than this. Then I'm going to file the whole of the nail and then I can start with a nail bed before I go on to the gel polish. Alright, so the nail bed colour I'm using is Chiffon from Phoenix Glitter and I'm also using their acrylic powder as well and I am using a number 14 brush. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this is three days after. I tried the cartoon nails. They came out like my grandson had done them. Uh, so they got uh, filed off. They looked ridiculous. Anyway, I've decided to go simple for a change. I'm gonna get this uh, Deco Art Glamour Dust, and then I'm using Sparkle Supplies UK's Iridescent Ice. No. I am gonna put some of this in here, like so. The first thing I'm gonna do is use Urban Graffiti's uh, base coat. This is from Neo. And I'm gonna just put this over the whole of my nail, just in case, you know, because I've just done my other hand and it looks really pretty. Uh, but there's no easy way of adding the glitter, so it literally goes where it, where it wants to. So if I do the whole nail, then it can stick where it wants. So then I'm just gonna cure this for 30 seconds. 
All right, so now I'm bringing in the tissue so the, the color of the screen might go weird or not, I don't know. All right, so as I've said, I've put the glitter in there. I'm not using the other one, I'm just gonna use this one. It, this is so easy and it really looks so pretty. So this is where I got off Let's Resin for adding glitters or pigments or whatever. So I'm just gonna grab it and with my other hand finger, I'm just gonna tap it like this and then I'm just going to put it where I want it and then using this triangle it just goes back into the pot waste not want not as my mother told me and then what I'm going to do I'm going to pour it put the tip in the glitter like that and then you know that you've got the whole of your nail done and I'm, on my skin I'm just going to tap and then what I'm going to do is just pat the sides down really gently and then on top And I'm gonna get any base coat. This one is Phoenix's because this is the best one I've ever tried. I'm gonna get quite a bit on. I'm gonna do the top first and just bounce it off the cuticle area. And then I'm gonna come down over the glitter, turn the brush over, do the middle. And you can see that there's glitter on the brush so I'm going to wipe the brush on the kitchen towel that was just underneath so there's no, no glitter on it. Dip it in again. And I'm going to do this side. Making sure you do the sides of the nail and also the tip. I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds then I'm going to put another coat on and that one then will make sure everything's sealed in. Okay, the way I've just done my thumb, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other four nails. Alright guys, so that's how easy these are. I have had a couple of girls asking me to do a more, more simple nail design and you can get a really nice effect with raw glitter, just sticking it on some base coat. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, well, shorter video, because uh, obviously I'm not doing a lot. Alright guys, links to the things I've used, well, except the glamour dust. Uh, the rest of the stuff is Phoenix. The li link is always in the description box. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching this one and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!